Grip editing of AutoCAD architecture objects is an easy way to adjust the sizes and locations of many of these objects. Each object has its own set of grips. In some cases, the grips are similar. In other cases, they are quite different. Let's explore grip editing. I'll begin with wall grips. Notice that when I pick the vertical wall, there are grips in the middle and at the ends. These are located on the wall's justification line. The square grips indicate the start, middle, and wall end. I'll pick the square start grip at the bottom of the wall so that I may drag the wall to any length or angle I want. After pressing Escape, I'll then pick the horizontal wall. Picking the right end arrow grip allows you to lengthen it along the current axis of the wall. This way you don't change the angle of the wall. There is a reverse direction arrow at the wall middle. This indicates the original direction in which the wall was drawn. Some walls are symmetrical, so reversing them won't be noticed. When you reverse the horizontal wall, the wall components, brick on one side and block and gypsum board on the other, flip over. Press the escape key, then pick the door. At the jam middles are lengthen arrows. These arrows allow the door to use standard sizes within the door style. When you pick the right arrow, these sizes appear as tick marks with the values displayed in the dynamic input box. You may also press the control key once while dragging, and you may now drag to any size. Press the control key once again, and the ticks reappear. Press the escape key. There are flip arrows on the door. These flip the direction or hinge side of the door. Windows are similar to doors. I'll press the escape key and choose a window. Again, there are flip and lengthen arrows. Doors and windows have a location grip in the middle. See how clicking it allows you to drag them to a new location. You may also enter a value in the dynamic input box. I'll press the escape key. I've drawn a curtain wall as well. Curtain walls have grips similar to walls, such as a location grip in the middle, a reverse direction arrow, start and end square grips, and lengthen arrows. I'll press the escape key and then pick the AEC dimension. We get a different set of grips. On the left hand side are four grips. The plus grip allows us to add dimension points. The arrow grip allows us to flip the text to the opposite side of the dimension line. The triangle grip allows us to move all of the chains up or down. The circle grip allows us to edit in place. When I pick it, I may relocate where the dimension text is located. Notice how when I pick the exit edit in place grip, there are also minus grips at each of the tick marks. If you don't want a particular extension line, you may pick the minus grip and that extension line is removed from the AEC dimension.